Hello and welcome to Rust Build School. Almost exactly one month ago, vending machine storage rooms were nerfed very badly. You can no longer place a vending machine anywhere near a solid wall. The closest you can get is about right here, and for efficient storage rooms, this doesn't really work. But there are a few ways we can get around this, and they come at a price though. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fix for vending machine storage rooms. All you need is a window frame where you want your vending machines. So I'm going to go ahead and build a one by one that looks like this with two windows. And then we're going to place in the vending machines. So if we come to this corner where the window is, we can place one vending machine into the corner, come to the side of it, position ourselves and get another one right there to the side of it. We can access both of these and then rotate them. And this, as we can see, is placing the vending machines right up against the wall like we used to. Now we cannot place one here in the center due to this, and we also seemingly cannot place one here against this window. The reason we can't place one against this window is due to the proximity to the player. The collider that they added is hitting the player model, which means you can't get those there. However, if you were to build yourself a jump up on top of your other vending machines, you could then go ahead and add the vending machine storage right here like this, and right here like that and then we can fit between them since we rotate them. And there we go, we have four vending machines in a one by one. Now we don't have a vending machine here in the center, but there is a solution for that later on, I will show it, but it comes with some downsides just like these do. So now these are up against a window frame, which means obviously if this was getting raided, this wall is pretty weak and they're just gonna hit the vending machines immediately. Vending machines are 8 to 10 rockets, so we can improve this though by putting a window inside of the window frame. However, the high quality metal window is only 500 HP, that's 4 rockets and the same as a stone wall. So if you were to make this sheet metal or armored, there's really no purpose in it. The best you can do is stone because that's what the window is. And once they blow through the window, they're just going to splash the vending machines for another eight rockets, which then leads them into your loot room. Now, this isn't the worst thing though, because with this window being four rockets and the vending machines being eight to 10 rockets, that's 12 to 14 rockets to gain access to the storage room through this wall. Now, chances are they'll be taking the door path in your base, but this comes into mind if they're drilling through the side of your base. If they hit this storage room, that could be a cheaper access point into your main loot or so on. So it is something to keep in mind. One thing that you could consider is that if this is an armored loot room here, when they destroy this window and these two vending machines, they then have to leap through this because it won't open up. So that could potentially give you the ability to add some kind of trap or something like that. I'm not really sure, but an armored wall would not break before the window or the two vending machines, so you would still have this window frame. Maybe in the case of an online, that's a good idea because you can be standing here and get a new window in, so then they have to just blow out the entire wall, which raises the raid cost. But with that, I'm not really sure. That's just something to consider and keep in mind. Let's go ahead and take a look at five designs using this window feature. Design number one is a single vending machine and a small box in a triangle foundation. In order to build this, all you need is a window frame, a wall, a ceiling, and a door frame, and then place the vending machine up against this window as close as possible. You can then go ahead and rotate the vending machine around, add your window in, and place your small box and garage door in. Design number two offers two vending machines and two small boxes worth of storage. In order to build this design, all you need to do is place two door frames on the triangle, place the ceiling, and then a wall frame. You want to snap the vending machines so that way they're facing outward. Place the barbecue down in the center. Place the small box underneath the barbecue, and there you go. Something else I want to mention about this design is that these walls should be sheet metal because the vending machine is going to take 10 rockets to destroy. A sheet metal wall takes eight rockets. So with that, they're going to destroy these two sheet metal walls and they still won't be able to access the base, but they'll be able to access these two uh, storage boxes. And then for two more rockets, they'll get both vending machines and have full access to the loot room. Design number three features four vending machines, a large box and a small box. In order to build this design, you're going to need two window frames, one on each side, a solid wall on the back, upgrade that to the next tier, sheet metal preferably, 
Go ahead and place your vending machine into one of the two corners and then place another vending machine directly beside it. Go ahead and rotate both of them. Then from there, you're going to want to boost up on top of these vending machines to place down the vending machines on the opposite side from what you did. Place both of those down side by side, drop down, rotate them. And then place a large box in the center with a small box in front. Be sure to add your windows so that way you're at full raid cost on all sides. Go ahead and seal it off with a ceiling and a door frame. Design number four features five vending machines, one large box, and one small box. In order to build this design, you're going to need two window frames, one door frame, and now we're going to place the vending machines into the two corners. So we'll go ahead and place this one. Then we have to place the one right beside it. Go ahead and rotate these. At this point, you should check that the vending machine can snap into the back door. If it can, you can continue on building. So go ahead and boost yourself up on top of your vending machines. Figure out where you need to be to place the other two. Get the other two vending machines placed down. Go ahead and drop in, rotate them. Check to make sure the back vending machine fits and go ahead and place it in. Place it so it's facing outwards. So that way the storage is accessed from the inside. Go ahead and place a large box down as well as a small box. And then go ahead and seal it off with a ceiling and a door frame. The fifth design is an oldie. This one survived the purge and is still fully possible. You just have to build it slightly differently. So this features two vending machines. In order to build this design, you're going to need to place three solid walls down. Then place a window frame here. And go ahead and place the two vending machines up against that window. That way you can get both vending machines in. And this is where the tricky part comes into play. You either need to boost yourself out of here to escape, or you can go ahead, seal off this entire shell, F1 kill, and respawn in your base. After you've done that, you'll be on the outside. Preferably you'll have went in there with no materials because at this point you're not getting any of those back. And then you can access these vending machines and seal them off with a window when you're not needing into the storage. And with that, that is the fix for vending machine storage rooms. They're not fully fixed. They're like 90% broken, 10% usable. These are very situational and have some really good application and uses in certain areas. So hopefully you can figure out where those are and use them when you want to. And with that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.